man who preaches the gospel with his life, his being there, done that, seen it, and every other thing you can think about. Lord Kenya is a one-time hip life art. He's reigned big rapper from back in the day, 99, through the 2000s. Now he's a renowned pastor. He's given his life to Christ. And I love the way he does his preaching. That's what we'll be talking about, including some more that you haven't heard of in a while. Hello. Hi. Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to to have me <laughs> <laughs> okay so i let's start with the preaching because i've been seeing you around the place you know preaching i love the fact that you cast your mind back to what you used to be and try to use that as a story you know to, is it to motivate people or to change them which are, which of it to motivate and to change mm. basically that's what the whole thing is all about mm. god in his own wisdom will let you go through some stuff and then he will use what you've done to teach others. You think yes. that when you're teaching others, people uh, look at you in the lens of the Lord Kenya they knew as a rapper, or they look at you with the lens of uh, somebody who is now a preacher? That one, I, I don't know. <laughs> but the most important thing is that I shouldn't be ashamed of my past. Mm. You know, this is what I was. That's what I'm trying to say. By the grace of God, this is where I am. Mm. And I think it cuts. And it's so important for others to also see where you're coming from. So they don't think like what they've done or what they're doing. You know, or probably whatever that's happened to them is the end of their lives and all that. So at least you encourage them, letting them know that there's a, there's a light at the end of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the tunnel. I, I think that's the most important thing. That's what this Christian thing is all about. about. Testimony. Mm -hmm. Where you, what have you, you know, my mess. It's now my message, mm. you know, my test. Now my testimony. So mm. that's the most important thing. There are lots of these uh, young men in the industry who you have personally spoken about that they would also become like you. Do you still hold your view on the people that you've mentioned? Uh, you know, my duty is simply put is what I've been asked to do, I'll say it. What I've been asked to say, I'll say it. I can't force anybody. I have no power to force it. What I have to do is that I have to say it. Probably some of those brothers, maybe you have to take years. Some of them, if they know, they themselves will just know ah, what I'm going through. I know what this brother is saying is the mm. truth. But it's up to them. Refresh your list uh, before. I, I remember Ochami Kwame. Yeah, right. Who else uh, is in that list? A couple of them have been said, not by myself, okay, but so I've been told I've about. heard about uh, Shatawale also likely to become a man of God. I, have you seen anything of the sort? I, 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 I think, as, as for Shatter's one, it was a matter of, I was talking about, you know, there was a question I was asked. If I can be used, is it possible he can be used mm. to? But I've heard um, Lawrence Letter say he can be used. All that I'm saying is that, all that I'm trying to say is that all, all of us can be used. Mm. Now, now all the industry is... Even yourself. Okay, I see. But the industry is uh, panicking, if that's the right word to use, because in the recent uh, days or few days now, mm. we've had prophecies upon mm. prophecies. The death of Ebony has awakened a lot of people, you know, has shown that, you know, these things are likely to be true. Now, do you also see? Why is it taking them because of the death of um, the Ebony, Ebony mm. for them to know? Mm. Because a lot of them died. You know, Terry Bonchaka died, Kwame Wusu and Sadat, Susie William died. They were not the only stars who, who, who got dead. A lot of them died. But all that we have to understand is that, you know, once born, mm -hmm. the day will come you die, whether, whether you like it or not. But the most important thing is this. I think the beef or the talked about has been, what is, what is prophecy? What is it about? Are they telling the truth and all that? I'm a man of God, not reverend by his grace, and I'm a reverend evangelist mm. by his grace. Let me put it this way. You know, Ephesians 4, 11, there you can find it out. Who is a prophet? I so said the fivefold. We have this one represents the apostle. We have the prophet. We have the evangelist. Then we have the pastor, and we have the teacher. So, yes, there's a prophet. And the Bible also said that God will do nothing without revealing it to the prophet. That is a fact. 
So now, if God will have to reveal it, then it means that whoever that is speaking, will speak in the mind of God. But then, the Bible, someone in the Bible also said about, okay, if that's the case, we also have false prophets. Because some of them are prophesying that is not true. They're prophesying whatever they're seeing in their dreams and all that, or whatever that, for whatever reason. How would I know? And how would you know? So whatever, whatever you are condemning, or whatever that you are endorsing, you should know what you are endorsing or whatever, what, why you are condemning. You should know. So you, why you don't have to be afraid, first and foremost, you should be a Christian. Hmm. Be a Christian. Once you're a Christian, Bible is simply put the basic instructions before living the earth. That's the Bible. What is the Bible saying about you? So, for example, if the prophecy is about that, you're going to die. What about the Bible? So, what is in the Bible about Psalm 118, verse number 17? It says that I will know that I will live. If I'm a Christian, then I'll use the word of God to, as, as it were, counter. Say, this is what the Bible said. This is what the prophecy came out to be. But this is what the Bible says. If you don't balance that well, and you jump them all together, then I'm afraid that's where the whole thing is going to be so you know, chaotic. And I think that's exactly what is happening. Some of them are speaking. They don't know what they are saying because yeah, men of God, they are doing this. Don't generalize men of God because we have false prophets. It's true. But we have good prophets. We have men of God. So be a Christian if you want an answer. Be a good Christian. Mm -hmm. Get, be a good Christian. Accept Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. Mm. What, about, you know, what about what about people say the Lord reveals to redeem, but after even when they get these revelations, the things still happen. It's all back. Let's get to this this one. God reveals, right? He redeems. Once he reveals, he redeems. That's true. That's true. But then, who are you? Who the one who is talking? Are you a Christian? Mm. You should be in a good standing with the Lord. With the Lord. You see, you can't just say. God reveals. Mm. He reveals. And me, I he redeems. So I'm the No. You it's a, it's a different ball game altogether. We are talking about spirituality. We are talking about you being a Christian, you a new creature or a new creation. That's what the Bible said. So how do you engage the prophecy? How do you engage it? If you're not a Christian. So once you are a Christian. And they said to you, a keba. <laughs> said me. Ma, that, no. God, Jesus said it in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. He became poor so I can be rich. It, it, it's back to, it should be back to what the Bible is saying. That's what I said already. The, the meaning of the Bible simply put basic B, R, instructions, B, before, L, living, E, the earth. This is the book given to you to direct you. Do you know what is in the Bible? Mm. That's, that's the most important because you can't buy TV. You can't buy a car without you being given. The ma you understand what I'm saying? So that's, that's the whole thing. Mm. So why, why are they, what the, let me ask you, why are they afraid? Obi and Wong go heaven, why? Hey, they would not go heaven. Why, if, 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 if I know that when I die, I'm going to heaven, I'm saved, why am I afraid to die? After all, what is, what is good in this earth? Because you know why we are afraid to die? Because of the unknown. Because we don't know what is going to happen there. Settle that. Know what is there. Know what you're doing. Though, so that when you go and stand in front of the, your creator, you can say to him, what you ask me to do. I've done it. Hmm. Two more questions and I'll let you go. Mm. But the first one uh, is on uh, Qualcasy. You had mm. said that you become a man of God. He said it's not. I didn't say. You, you didn't say that. I didn't say. Seen him he was saying that. Listen. You want to be a man of God. You, I don't want to talk about. He's my young. He's, he's, he's a young brother. He's my, my, my brother. Mm -hmm. You know. He was in, pre, um, he was, um, in prison. In yes. prison, right? And we visited him. Mm. There I bought him a Bible. I bought him every day, you know, guide for him to read his Bible and all that. Then I advise him that you know where he is, there might be something good that will come out of it. 
but he knows that with God all things are possible and God will help him to come out of it. When he came out, we had a couple of conversations whereby he told me he was going to church and all that. So, yes, is that wrong for me to, to go to visit him? No. no. Is that wrong for me to say to him that, give yourself to Christ? No. But he never said he'd become a man of God? No. Okay. As for him, all those prophecies that came out, if a man of God or whatever, that they said, I, I've said he's a man of God, he'll be a man of God. I don't, I really don't want to go to that. You don't want to go there. Yeah, last, let's live it. Last one <laughs> let's live. after you. Just recently, Marco Quick commented. No comment. You don't want to comment on no that comment. as well. Thank you very much. No. No.